So I'm just cruising through the woods in the Stroman Ferske area. So you wouldn't believe our luck, we've come across a fortified World War II bunker. Now, I wouldn't be able to tell you what battle was fought here, but if a bunker's been built and it's been fortified, you would think, as I trip over, the Norwegians would have uh, had a decent reason to build this. So, well wooded. Just down there it begins. So I'm going to show you. There is, believe it or not, iron ore. That is like from World War II. That could be, that could be weaponry. Not really sure, but we are walking through history. You can see all the stones that have been built to fortify the area that we're in. So, look, I, I don't know. Oh, and all this would have been like a looks like a cable cart almost but iron ore just left here remnants of history that is one solid cart okay so just walked along the path now this is just here so I don't know if this would have been like some kind of machine gun cradle or but it is facing out to the ocean so possibly that's what it was but here is a door which i would imagine would have led to underground and i've just tried to lift it but that's a that's at least a two two to four man job there as you can see more it looks like bluestone i could be wrong but it looks like bluestone to fortify the wall here So as you can see, it looks like remnants of track, like almost like a cable cart, like they're sort of maneuvering. I don't know if it's if it's weapons or coal or you know maybe the stones that they use for the mountains up up above to fortify this. But if there are any history buffs out there, I've got no I've got no idea what this is, but it it looks like iron ore um, frozen over. Gee, that would have been a, a hatch at one point. That that is just frozen over in time. I'm trying to move that, that's just solid as anything. This looks like it would have pivoted at, at one point in time. Let's see. No, that's not moving anyway. But if you look down here, this is the fortress. So if the Germans were coming in here to try and take the Norwegian land, this is man-made, and you can see all the stones that have been fortified just down there. I'm not going to pretend I'm a history buff and I know all about World War II. I know a little bit about World War II, but I'm not too sure about the history of Norway and what role the Germans played in trying to take over Norway. But I, obviously, it would assume it'd be between 1939 and 1945, the years of the World War II. So I just wanted to show you this as we creep through some more barren uh, land. More remnants of history, it's more iron ore. There's a, there's a pole or, let's have a look. That looks like just piping that's come down for some reason. But it's it's fascinating to be here because this is something that you might see on a documentary. But to actually be here and see it with my own two eyes. More iron ore. I've got no idea what, what, what's been left behind here. But what we'll do is, there's a spectacular mountain just there. We'll just keep having a look. It's very wet underfoot, so I've got to be careful. Ah, oh, fuck. Just got fucking wet feet, but that's okay. It's all part of it.
It almost looks like a quarry. Yeah, you can see. So you can see that the train tracks, or sorry, the, yeah, the cart tracks, whatever they are, they're definitely tracks of some sort. Still there, many, many years later. So I wonder what, why they built this. More remnants of history. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit, that's slippery. Oh. It's kind of freaky being here. <laughs> it's like, the thing is, in Norway at the moment, literally you get approximately only maybe, if you're lucky, five hours of daylight per day. So I'm going to jump down from here. So it almost looks like, I don't know exactly, I'm no expert, but it looks like they've done a lot of carving from the side of these, of these mountains to fortify all the, the bluestone, all the, all, the, all the the rock that you can see here. Um, yeah, via this, this track and carted it down there. So you can just imagine in, in war times, especially with the climate of, of Norway, it would have been an arduous job. See more more tracks. All these years later, we're talking what? What are we? Two thousand twenty-two. See if I can pick it up. No, that's just wedged into the ground. See if I've got any strength to pick it up. Nah, it's just it's like concrete. Okay, so just come to this, I would say dead end, but me being the explorer that I am, just look at that rock. It's a solid rock. Imagine the manpower to cart all this rock up the mountain, or down the mountain, should I say. But I'm going to try and climb with the best of my ability. Oh, jeez. It is slippery. It is dangerous. <laughs> I'm holding a camera phone. I haven't even got my GoPro at the moment because it's, it's out of action. Jeez. Oh, um... Gotta be careful. It's, I don't think you realise how slippery this is, guys. Do not want to fall down. Well, I'll find out in a minute. Huh? Find out in a minute. Um, I think we will. I don't want to go off here. No. Okay. It's a little bit dangerous. A little bit too steep, I think. So we'll head back down. Okay, so I'm gonna say goodbye to the fortress, but we'll keep exploring while we're out here hiking through the beautiful nature. See what it has to offer. It is a bit of a trek up this hill, but what I find most amazing about this place compared to any other location I've been in the world is just the beautiful tree lines and the beautiful 
sunset well that's what i'll call it and it's not even 2 30 p.m in the afternoon here in norway currently we are only averaging between three and five hours of daylight per day and that just gets worse progressively over the winter months as the snow sets in so we'll just keep exploring and see where this mountain top takes us okay so <laughs> you can see how steep uh, it is where I was trying to climb before there's the fortress down there bunker so yeah these mountains are just spectacular out here in the middle of nature so we'll keep walking we'll see if we can go over the top probably not but we'll have to check it out nah that's just too steep so we'll just have to come back the same way we came <laughs> 